ozone naturally decomposes to oxygen by this reaction. Boom! The experimentally observed rate law for this reaction is... Double boom! Show that this proposed mechanism is consistent with the experimentally observed rate law. Recall that there are two conditions that must be met in order to validate a mechanism. First, the reactions must sum together to provide the overall reaction. Recognize that O is an intermediate. When I sum together my remaining reactants and products, I will get two molecules of ozone gas, forming three molecules of oxygen gas. So our first check, steps of the mechanism sum to overall reaction. But remember, the second condition that must be met is that the rate law of the rate determining step must match the rate law of the overall reaction. Now, as I look at my slow step, the rate law could be written as my rate constant K times the concentration of ozone to the first order times the concentration of O to the first order. Again, those orders can be determined directly from the stoichiometry because it's an elementary step. Note that the rate law that I have just written does not match the rate law for the overall reaction. So does this mean this is not a valid mechanism? Not necessarily. Notice that our initial step in the mechanism is a fast equilibrium step. If I were to write the rate law for the forward direction of that first step, I would get rate is equal to my reaction constant times the concentration of ozone to the first order. And if I were to write the rate law for the reverse reaction of that initial step, it would be rate is equal to my rate constant times the concentration of O2 times the concentration of O, both to the first order. Now, because this is a fast equilibrium, by definition, the rate of the forward and reverse reactions are the same when equilibrium is reached. Therefore, I can set the rate laws of the forward and reverse reaction of that first step equal to one another. Next, I'm gonna solve this for the intermediate O. I'm gonna divide each side by the rate constant of the reverse direction and the concentration of O2 to the first. Boom. Now we can take this and sub it into the original rate law that we wrote for our slow step. Boom. Notice I just subbed this in for my value of the concentration of O. Finally, I'm just gonna do a little rearranging so that my rate law looks a little more consistent. So my rate law is more in the standard format. So I'm just gonna combine all my rate constants. Notice that I'm multiplying a concentration of O3 times a concentration of O3, so I get concentration of O3 squared. And I'm multiplying that by one over the concentration of O2, or O2 to the negative one. Now, let's compare our rate law for the overall reaction to the rate law for the slow step that we just wrote. Notice that they match. The rate law of the slow step is consistent with the rate law of the overall reaction. Boom! We have just validated this mechanism as a possible mechanism for this reaction. One, because the individual steps sum to the overall reaction, and two, the rate law of the rate determining step is equal to the rate law for the overall reaction. And we are done.